with last night's game because the Rams got revenge for their Super Bowl 53 loss to the Patriots in a big way. But this time, it was L.A. who held New England to only three points while the Rams also racked up nearly 200 rushing yards. Now, Cam Newton threw for just 119 yards and had a pick six. Then he was benched for Jarrett Siddham in the fourth quarter. So, Shannon, what did last night tell you about Bill Belichick and Tom Brady? Well, it told me last night what everybody already knew is that the two guys were better together, but they wanted to be apart. Um, Skip, when look, Coach Belichick is not a bad coach because his team lost last night. They really needed to punch that ball in. I don't understand why they so early in the ball game, Skip, they, they didn't kick a field goal. They wanted to go for it on fourth down. And it wasn't like it was fourth and a foot. It was a fourth and like two or three yards. So I was surprised that they did, they did that. But Coach Belichick, if you look at Coach Belichick over the last five games, he was 4-1 and one heading into that ball game. Tom Brady had lost three of his last four. And he was eight touchdowns, seven interceptions, 62% completion. With a 38-3 loss in there to New Orleans. Mm. And so he could have easily been bent. And no one would have thought a second, uh, had a second thought about it. Um, but when you look at it, and you people, it's quick to say, well, Cam do this and Cam, Cam, Cam. But I thought this team was devoid of talent last year. That was one of the reasons why Tom Brady wanted to leave. Mm -hmm. So if it was the board of talent this year, they didn't restock the uh, cupboard with any talent. No. So. So. I'm confused. I'm okay. really confused by this. Huh. Because, and, and I'm looking at it. Tom Brady has all this talent, and he's thrown more interceptions with more talent than he's thrown over the last two or three years. Huh. So, so what does that say about him? Huh. Well, I'm confused because Bill Belichick did not upgrade any of the talent anywhere on either side of the football. Did Coach Belichick, Help me out. Did Coach Belichick tell you he had no money? Oh, did he, he tell no you he didn't have no money? He Personally <laughs> or salary cap money? I don't know. He said salary yeah. cap money. Look, we knew going into this game, Skip, this is the way the Patriots win ball games. They get non-offensive touchdowns because they're challenged. So they get a scoop and score, they get a pick six, they get a kick return, punt return touchdowns, or they get short fields. If they have to consistently drive the ball down the field, with that talent, it's going to be hard for them to score. That's why it was very important for them last night, Skip. That first drive was their best drive, and they needed to punch that in. If they punch that in, Skip, I, I, I don't, I'm not going to say they win the ball game, yeah. but we might have a different, we're like, oh man, that was a good ball, that was a good game. Let's get they can't protect. Mm. I mean, they had 23 pass attempts. They gave up six sacks on 23 pass attempts. And then you couldn't run the football. So if you can't run the football, you can't throw the football, I don't understand how you expect to win. Now, Jerry Goff, would, you know, kept him in the game because if he throws the ball out front, it's a first down, he throws it behind, it's a pick. So I don't have a whole lot of confidence in him. Have you seen that movie before? <laughs> yes, we've seen that movie a lot yep. of times before. And uh, Sean McVay's like, I need to stop seeing it, or are you going to see this movie where you're on the bench? Yep. So for me, Skip, I didn't learn anything that I didn't already know going into the ball game. Mm. Coach Belichick and Tom Brady were great at, as a couple. Mm. But somebody wanted to be in their own movie. Somebody mm. wanted to go it alone. Well, both of these guys wanted to go it alone. And one guy... Uh, uh, Coach Belichick team doesn't have talent. He's doing all the shopping. That's his fault. He let it get like this. That, that is there's, a fact. There's no one else to blame but nope. Coach Belichick. He let it get like this. Tom is happy in his situation, but he's not as playing as well as we, as a lot of people thought he would. So together they were better. Apart, we're starting to see they probably should have stayed better, but no one would have been happy. Okay. So I want to remind everybody that with basically this same talent or lack thereof a year ago, mm -hmm. Tom Brady on the final regular season Sunday at New England had this team in position to be the two seed in the AFC. Mm -hmm. He went down and did what he always does in the fourth quarter, almost always, and he scored a touchdown on a long drive that put them ahead by four points. And here came, guess who, Fitz Magic against the Belichick's, the vaunted defense of Bill Belichick, and Fitzmagic drove the Dolphins 75 yards in 13 plays, including a buzzer beater to Gusecki from five yards to win the game yes. with a touchdown, not it a field goal. They needed to score Correct. seven, and they did. And that knocked, obviously, the Patriots out of the two seed. So that's what Tom accomplished, and I made the case that he did – more with the least he's ever done last year mm -hmm. in New England, his final year, obviously, right. in New England. For me, last night, Bill Belichick got exposed once and for all as a team builder.
not as a coach, as a team builder, yeah. as the GM yeah. of this team, as the president, as the, the man with the purse strings. He, <laughs> he does it all. He shops for all the groceries. And that team last night was overmatched by a far more talented football yeah, team. absolutely. I don't – maybe I'm missing a game in my memory, but I don't remember a Bill Belichick team – getting so dominated in both lines of scrimmage, mm -hmm. in the trenches on yeah. both sides, by the Rams' offensive line and then by the Rams' defensive line, they just flat out got manhandled on both sides. They did. Because they basically got run off the field, 186 total yards rushing. Mm -hmm. And that kid, who Cam hey. Akers, mm -hmm. second-round pick out of Florida State, rookie, Where's a great number, the number, the original 23. <laughs> oh, LeBron, huh? No, he, he's a Jordan guy, I'm sure. He he's, says, I'm, I'm the new Jordan, right? He's LeBron. He, he's got some of the sweetest feet you will see in a running back. I love that kid. Every, he's growing on me by the step. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they got that going for him because they got lots of weapons on offense, obviously. And they actually have a tight end named Tyler Higby who barely played in the Super Bowl two years right. ago. He was out there, but he didn't get any targets or had mm -hmm. no, no catches. But... New England doesn't even have a single tight end. They went from Rob Gronkowski, the GOAT tight end, <laughs> to help me out. They had one rookie tight end get one target last night and catch none of it. The kid from UCLA. Right. Okay? So help me out. Ryan Izzo's on IR now, and he was all you had. They, they have nothing. And seriously, I, I, I truly believe if Tom Brady were watching that game last night, that he felt sorry for Cam Newton he because probably, nobody can relate better to that situation <laughs> than Tom can. Yeah. And, and again, it's a quarterback's sort of fraternity, and he would just sit and shake his head at what Cam was up against mm -hmm. last night because Aaron Donald, I've been hard on him on the show occasionally, he was good last night. He flashed <laughs> for me because he had a couple of rushes that were just sensational. Right. And he got away with one grab of the running back on Cam's pick six. So, yeah. so I can't completely pin it on Cam. Right. Because Aaron Donald just reached out and grabbed, if we can see, he right. just grabs the running back. Again, is it an ill-advised throw? Do you have to make sure your running back's going to come yeah, clear on that? Yeah, you probably want to just throw that at his feet. You, you just, okay. Hey, let's go back. Let it be second okay. down and let it be third down. So Aaron Donald got away with one, and it should have been let's play on, let's live to tell about another play. Right. Okay? But it goes pick six the other way. And yet, to me, for Cam Newton, it came down to, I, I get what you're saying about you, you, you go for it on the, the fourth down, but, but it, it got to late in the half, they're down 17 to nothing, it got to fourth and two Patriots at the Rams' 11-yard line. And this is the turning point in the game to me. Are you going to go for it? Well, Bill Belichick has lost so much faith, I believe, in Cam, so much belief, so much trust that he said, no, we'll take the field goal and go into halftime 17-3 to three down. And it just felt like it's teetering on oblivion here. You, you better just go for this. Well, Skip, for me, I, I thought they, they, they did it backwards. I thought the beginning they should have took the field goal and then maybe you go could, for it on, and go for it on this one you because argue. you had to skip. I mean, if you think about it, they were running the football. Cam had some good passes, and I'm like, okay, this thing about to be a ball game. This okay, we about to have something here. Mm. And then the next thing I'm like, I surely Coach Belichick's not going to go for it this early in the ball game. Yep. And Lord, skip, what was that play though? Was Cam supposed to run it? Was he supposed to pitch it? I mean, what what was that play? Well, the problem is it got immediately blown up by the penetration. Yes. He had nowhere to go. Or no, they they took the the pitch man was covered. Right. So what are you gonna do? He just was like, I'm I'm dead. I fold. Like you got me. Right. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So I did not like any of the play calls. Again, if you had a Tom Brady or a quarterback who's more gifted at throwing the football, right. you would have thrown one of those four plays, but they went four straight plays with no creativity, right. no no sort of illusion or no, no... And two of them, the quarterback ran the ball. That's what I'm saying. It's just like, here we come. So this offense has degenerated slowly but surely into Cam or Bust running the football. And I have seen him slowly but surely, what is he? He's aged 31 years of age. Yep, 31. I, I have seen him lose the ability over time this year to impose his physical will on a defense because it's just too much pounding. Yeah. He pounded away at the Dolphins in the opener, and that was really good. He ran for 75 yards. Remember right. that? And then he 